for being here this Tuesday morning of the week. Good morning, church family. We got uh, Odie here. We've had a fun weekend. We were celebrating Henry turning six on Saturday and Jackie boy, little Jackie boy, turned two yesterday. So we had fun celebrating him. And now we've got a seven, six, three, and a two-year-old. And life is just crazy. Crazy awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. We got our Honey Nut Cheerios and we're ready to listen to the word. Are you guys ready to listen to the word? Yeah. I was trying to get my microphone working, but it seems like the battery died on one of them, the devices. So hopefully you can hear me. I'm just picking up the audio off the phone here. We're not going to hit. Let's just watch, okay? You want to come sit? You want to come sit with us? Sit. Or are you going to stand? What do you want to do? What's that? You're going to do whatever you want. Okay. All right. 1 John chapter 4. We'll start in verse 7. God's love and ours. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who has loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not, not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. He loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us, we ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. We know that we live in him and he is in us because he has given us his spirit. And we have seen and testified that the father has sent his son to be the savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is son of God, God lives in him and he in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment because in this world we are like him. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, yet hates his brother, is a liar. For anyone who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And he I has love given Henry. us. Yes. You I love, love Henry. You love Henry. You love your I brother. Love yeah, you guys I love, love each other. I love yeah. Jackie. Yes, and we love Jackie boy. And he has given us this command. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Amen? That's what we're going we're gonna to work on this week is, is letting people know us by our love for one another. Letting people see Jesus in us because of our love for one another. Love covers. Love does not point the finger. Love covers a multitude of sins and seeks forgiveness. And so that's what we want to be. We want to be a body of Christ who is known by our love for one another. Amen? We are called to love one another. Right? And so that's what it's all about. God first loved us, so now we can love Him and people can see and be drawn closer to Jesus through our love. Amen? Simple word today. God is love. That's it. So let's go throughout this week. Let's go to our workplaces. Let's not live in camp complaining, but let's show God's love through our words, through our actions, through our thoughts. In Jesus' name, amen? We get some water? Yeah, we were thirsty. 
Well, that's it. Do we want to say bye to the church family? Bye. We love you, church family. Thanks for joining. Oh, we got a little water spill. Let's go get a, can you go get a towel? Someone want to, want to grab a towel over there? There's a towel in there. Go get a towel. Thanks, Odie. We got a little spill. In life, there are spills. And we're going to clean them up. We're going to get towels. And we're going to clean up the spills. Because God is love. And we love God. And we're showing love. Even if there's some spills in our life, right? So come together here. Let's pray. Let's pray. You guys going to go watch? All right. Dear Jesus, we just thank you for this day. We're so grateful that you've given us, given us another day to live for you. God, help us show your love today. Help your love in our lives radiate to those around us so that people around us can question, what's different about that person? He must, he must, there's something different about him. It looks like he loves Jesus. Let that be our heart and our desire today, this week. We're just so careful to give you all the glory, all the honor. We just ask that you protect each one of us, protect the church family. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone amen. said, amen. amen. All right, church family, you'll see Nate tomorrow morning. And then we've got Family Life Wednesday night services tomorrow night. So you're not going to want to miss it. Let's give them a big wave. Bye, bye church bye, family. Bye, 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 bye church family. Woohoo! Look, we can say hi to everybody. All right, now we got R Brother Ramiro. Good morning. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Karen Daddy. and Christine. Yes, Odie. Sometimes when me and Henry are angry, Henry first says, I hate you, and then I hate you. I say that. Yeah, well, we're not going to say that anymore. We love each other, even if they have done something wrong. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Ivy. Good morning, Rose and Ed Sweeten. Good morning, Vera. Good morning, Mar Mary Taylor. Good morning, Alfredo and Terry. Maria. Good morning, Jan and Via. Good morning, Brother Ron. Good morning, Albert. Good morning, Dolores. You guys have a great day. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you.